right, so today, today we're, our goal is to try to install this as a refrigeration unit. Um, we're going to try to cut the hole and screw it into our ice box, which is right back here. Um, it's just a all-in-one like refrigeration part and then the compressors behind it. Um, so it's an easy install, or hopefully it will be an easy install, I guess. Um, should only draw about 4 amps running. We can, I think it was said it could do like a 5 or 6 cubic foot refrigerator. So, hoping that will take care of our refrigeration needs. Um, the exciting part is the ice box on this is a lot bigger than the little portable refrigerator we had on our last boat. Um, so it should mean we'd be able to keep a lot more food in the refrigerator um, and not have to go to the grocery store as often. So the real fun of this project is it's in an ice box. Uh, so we're gonna install it in this back wall right here. But as you can see, I have to be able to crawl down inside, mark out the hole and cut it all out. So a little bit of boat yoga. I should dry out all the water that's down there first. So. In case anyone was wondering, I do fit in the ice box. Because I'm pretty cool. Make sure this is dry. Some tape sticks. So on dry fitting it in, I have come up with, and it seems to be well made. I'll start off with that. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it, how well it works, but I have a couple gripes uh, about it. So they give you a cutout dimension, but if you look right here, this piece and this tube 
stick out beyond the cutout dimension. And then this uh, control box also sticks out beyond the cutout dimension. So now you got a, a bump over here and a notch over here. And then all they have is this looks like closed cell foam to seal it. Well now you're, you're probably inside those dimensions. So I don't know why they also didn't put a like gasket material over top of where the screws go through. So that's really my only gripe is I got to make the cutout bigger and got to I'm just going to put some weather stripping on that section to seal it to make sure I don't get any airflow through the back of the refrigerator. Um, yeah, those are my two gripes before I work on installing it all the way. Um, I also have to put a little bit of expanding foam between the icebox shell and then the foam that's around it. So there's a, about a half inch gap at the back where I cut through. So got to fill that up. In case anyone's wondering, this opening is uh, 26 inches by 14. So the opening's not massive. So I just have a little bit of a squeeze to get in and out. Material on. Got 
All right, count to five and then go for it. Five? Not out loud. <laughs> So here is our newly installed refrigerator unit in our ice box. Um, and then they are kind of working over there pulling out staples. You want to know what I just did? No, 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 keep it on. You know what I just did? There's a little set of keys right here. And I just bumped them with my elbow. And they just went down underneath of the cabinets. And I don't know how to get them back out. She makes my life difficult <laughs> all the time. I think that was speaking of which I'm inside the <laughs> ice box. I know. Now all the so yeah. she can have refrigeration. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out the nav desk area um, of templating in cardboard and the thought is to build a shell that goes back here. So like this. Um, there was an old VHF radio. I will show you. It. This is the old VHF radio that they had. Um, it's very outdated. They call it a radio telephone. Kind of cool, but it is old. And so we now have a new one that will also do GPS position and AIS. And so we're Gonna try to get that installed. I think I'm up here. This one was mine right here. I was trying to figure out how all of this will fit and be usable. And then at some point, we're thinking we would like a truck plotter inside as a dual redundancy. Um, So try to leave, I guess, space in the future to put that in and maybe other instruments if we want them inside at the nav desk. But with that, it's uh, figuring out heights and other stuff. There's a bit of a height discrepancy between Heather and myself. So trying to walk that line of, can I use it? Can she also use it? Um, from what I found in life, if stuff is hard to get to or hard to use, you won't use it. And then the instances when you need it, you won't remember, you won't be able to do it. So also that goes with it is height. So we gotta figure out what height to make this. Um, there is just foam. Set T, well, I guess the quarter birth foam. I think it's four inch. It's gonna sag. If I sit down here, it's way too tall. So I've got two four inch boxes. I've got a board. So I'm sitting on the box. Let's see if that's better. Actually, height wise, it's not too bad. Tall. 
tag would go down an inch. And then it would be better. A little more leg room as well. And then from here, it's a bit of a stretch for the VHF if that's out there. And if you put a chart plotter here, then you could use a chart plotter. I do wish it was more like angled in the front. If you do that, this can't open. Do you actually need an opening, like a hinge chart table anymore these days? Honestly. Stick up for mica on this, but the bottom of this plywood actually looks really nice. I actually like it better than this for mica. Talk to Heather, see what she thinks about this. But then to give us space, I think we're gonna have to cut this handrail. Try to make that look nice and natural. And then this would have a like fiddle, and so you could store a little bit of like just shelf storage up there. Probably for phones and cameras and other stuff.